Nelson is a licensed lender under the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 331060. This is Nelson from Nelson Radio, and it's important that we talk about a very serious issue. We had bad lending practices that led to the mortgage meltdown, but now we've got the challenge of deplorable customer service coming out of the meltdown. Bottom line, getting a new loan can be like pulling teeth without Novocaine. I've got the solution. Academy Mortgage and my team are injecting into the industry real performance and real accountability. Here are the facts. Appraisals in less than a week. Rate guarantees that can improve if the market goes down. Purchase transactions with our market-exclusive close-on-time guarantees and refinance transactions in as little as 30 days. Who would have thunk? Guaranteed rates and guaranteed performance from your mortgage lender. Call me, Nelson, an accountable loan expert for nearly three decades, direct at 888 That's Nelson at 888 2136 or at strongcreditrewards.com. Nelson. Good gravy. A radio host. Found myself two million short of a millionaire. Barely understandable. Gee, Monetti. We can rebuild him. Guy's bright as a napkin. We have the technology. You gotta work with design, vision, and focus. Better than he was before. It's not lonely in my head. Funnier. I'm staring at a bowl of spaghetti trying to figure out which two ends come together. More informative. Characters defined by what you do once you screw up, not if you make mistakes along the way. And just as sarcastic. You sausage. Oh, come on! Give us 60 minutes and we'll give you Nelson Radio every Saturday from 2 to 3 p.m. on KTLK AM 1150. With 29 years in the mortgage business and an array of top-level guests visiting the show, Nelson is in a unique position to bring you cutting-edge information on real estate, business, finance, and law. If you have any questions for Nelson or any of his guests, give him a call at 888-888-2136. That's 888-888-2136. Or check him out online at nelsonradio.com. Nelson Radio. KTLK AM 1150. Great to be back with you. You're with Nelson and Nelson Radio and my special guest host, Marco Rufo from Pacific Palisades. How you doing, Marco? Very good, Nelson. I'm glad to be back on the program to provide uh, some perspective and hopefully some direction. You know, and you do provide good perspective. I want to make certain that we just in- extend the invitation to you for listening to this show in its entirety. We're going to come at a lot of different perspectives, but the thing that the number one frustration is I listen to radio or listen to professional counsel is you have half the community that tells you to turn left, another half that says turn right, and then the scat. I don't know which way to turn group. <laughs> and the poor consumer is just that piece of taffy getting stretched all different directions, doesn't know what to do. I mean, that's the purpose of this show. Let's provide some clarity. Let's provide some direction. And especially in this business environment that we're in, the real estate market that we're in, the uncertainty with our economy, which I still think is out there. Absolutely out there. I mean, I, I, people don't touch on it as much, but it's for sure out there. Well, in that vein, we're going to be uh, looking at trust today. Trusted brands, trusted themes, trusted counsel, and we're going to angle in on that, like I said, from a variety of different uh, perspectives. We have coming up after our Street Noise segment here, we have the founder and CEO of Ruby's Diners, one of my favorites. Doug Cavanaugh is going to be in with us and share his perspective of launching his first restaurant, I think some 30 years ago now, I think the year that I was born. (laughs) No, no, you don't laugh at that. Yeah. 30 years ago, and a campaign now that stretches across 40 stores and, and uh, most of the U.S., about to be coast to coast, I think. So it'll be interesting to spend some time with him. And then switching gears, we're going to go over to Brian Chu with O.C. Wills and Trust Attorneys and look about getting prepared in, in that same bucket, getting trusted counsel so that you're prepared for the what if. When life surprises us all, that who would have thunk, and so that we have that preparation in place. And then we're going to go to Rita Langland, now one of Orange County's own, who started this orphanage that we showcase each week of uh, Treasures in Africa. Orphanage down in Moshi, Tanzania. Rita just got in from uh, Tanzania last night and has agreed to come on the show and share some stories with us about her experience and what she's seeing down at her orphanage. And then, of course, finishing the broadcast with a stump. 
Stump the experts. You're on a win streak. It's unbelievable. It's fantastic. You know, going back to the, the trust, I think it's so important. I mean, the percentage of people that don't never think about that until the last moment or until at, until it's too late. It's it's amazing to me. Well, and we're going to hear some stories t- telling along the lines of what if happens, you know, and the, exactly. if you're not prepared. And there's just some bottom line, you know, you wouldn't want the government with their flagship as the post office and DMV making decisions for your family and kids? Come on. We deal with it all the time in real estate, clients like that. Yeah. So there you have it. This Street Noise segment, it's brought to you by our legal partner, O.C. Wills and Trust, Brian Chu, being prepared for your family. Call us direct, 888-888-2136. That's 888-888-2136. And we also have another announcement I wanted to make. Coming up at the end of the month, we're going to be doing another remote broadcast. Marco and I are going to be... Yeah, at 31240 Beachview Estates in the lovely Malibu, California. And we're going to do our remote broadcast. And I really am so proud to be part of that, Nelson. Thank well, you. And this luxury property is an unusual one. It, you call it the enormous view. It's an enormous view. Absolutely. It's uh, close to the uh, 270 degree. View. 270 degrees. You stand on your tiptoes. You can see Japan. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. However, what has it is also have a beautiful pool, yeah. beautiful mountain views, and it's been leased to some very big celebrities. Can't talk about that, but yes. All right. We're going to showcase that home, and that's going to be uh, coming up on uh, June 29th. So that'll be a fabulous experience. You know, something else I wanted to talk to you about, Marco, and see if it's going to have an impact on our real estate market or our economic recovery, but that is interest rates bumping up a little bit. They have. They have bumped up, and uh, it has rose. Uh, some questions have arose from clients based on that. So we, we can discuss that. And I don't know. I, in my particular opinion is I'm not that concerned. If interest rates go from 3.5%, to three eight, okay. The direction of interest rates is up, but it's still "quote unquote" free money, in my opinion. I well, mean, I when, mean, what, so at the bottom we were at a sixty year low. Now we're what at a thirty year low, twenty five year low. Yeah, fifty nine year low. Okay, I mean, so, you know, it's not so a it big still deal. makes a lot of sense, right? Yeah. And I don't. I, my personal opinion is it's not going to unseat our economic recovery. Yeah, there may be some stutter steps with people that, that go, oh, gosh, your interest rates are on the rise. What's that mean to me? I think it may even be a greater call to action where those homeowners that have been on the fence that want to jump into a new property may now jump. They've I got was, the catalyst. I was just going to say that a lot of people, as soon as the interest went up, we saw an influx of buyers. You know, we need to make an offer. We need to make an offer before it goes up again. So, yeah, you're right about that. All right, I'm going to shotgun a question at you, I, and I didn't prepare you for this, but this is talking about the luxury market. Obviously, you're centered in the Pacific Palisades area in one of the nicest communities in all of California, but in the luxury market, and this made headlines throughout last week, our friend, Justin Bieber. Yeah, what about him? And uh, and I guess he has a maybe a heavy foot. Yeah, he does, you know. Um I don't know what to tell you. I mean, he's it, between him and uh, some of the other celebrities out there, younger ones, I should say, they cause a lot of havoc. So they, is is it an example where he's entitled and treats the, you know, it's his world and everybody else just borrowing time? Or is he just a knucklehead teenager that's happened to I'd, be extremely successful? I think it's a mixture of both. I absolutely do. You know, I, I don't think they respect, you know, some other people's property to the extent that other kids his age would. However, um you know, he's still a teenager. Remember so do you, do you find that in some of these uh, very upper-end communities, the sense of entitlement? Or is it just regular folk that have actually done well? And, I mean, the perception is is that, you know, everyone in these high-end markets has been, you know, li- lived life with a silver spoon kind of a thing. And some it, have. Some haven't. And uh, it's actually nice to see the diversity in those communities. And uh, some children are. Yeah, they're spoiled brats. Absolutely, Nelson. I'm not going to tell you they're not. And uh, they feel completely entitled. They can have any car they want. They can have any and go anywhere they want. And yes, they you know they're a problem. So it's, they can in, be a problem. I'm going to introduce them to my Volkswagen. <laughs> there you have it. All right. Well, listen. Let's get on with our show. We have the street noise segment brought to you by our legal partner, OC Wills and Trust Attorneys, protecting your family in advance of a crisis. Call us direct. Triple eight, triple eight, twenty one thirty six. That's triple eight, triple eight, twenty one thirty six. I'm with my special guest host, Marco Rufo. Stay with us. We'll be right back in a couple of minutes with business leader, CEO Doug Cavanaugh from Ruby's Diner. We'll be right back. The Nelson Show is brought to you by Best Chauffeured. Best Chauffeured offers personal chauffeur services for corporate events, large and small, and all types of people, not just celebrities. 
So next time you just want to relax and enjoy the ride, please call on Best Chauffeur Worldwide. It's effortless transportation and first-class service every time. Call 866-323-BEST. That's 866-323-BEST or online at bestchauffeur.com. Mention KTLK's Nelson Show and receive a special discount. 866-323-BEST or online at bestchauffeur.com. Insurance Incorporated are the residential and apartment insurance experts. Unlike agencies that represent one carrier and can only provide one quote, Insurance Incorporated has appointments with the nation's leading insurance carriers giving you the power of choice. This means more options and savings for you, offering coverage that's both comprehensive and affordable. Their policies for apartments include protection against loss or rents, accusation of wrongful eviction and wrongful entry, vandalism, theft, and slip and fall claims. Show your value as a property manager by being proactive saving your clients' money and protecting their assets. They can even assist your tenants with renter's insurance. And homeowners, they can save you up to 40% on premiums, including often overlooked liability coverage. Insurance Incorporated are the residential and apartment insurance experts. Call This is Nelson from Nelson Real Estate Radio, and I want to have a very serious conversation with you. Let me paint the word picture. The drinks were innocent enough, just relaxing with friends. Really, I felt fine. Being drunk wasn't even a consideration. Then the rear view mirror lights up with the blue and red, the arrest, cuffed, and in jail. Really? Me? All too frequent, we wish in the somehow, someway category for a do-over, a mulligan to make a different decision. Let me introduce you to Orange County's office of Michael L. Feld, nearly two decades serving in the Orange County District Attorney's Office as a prosecutor, now fighting for your rights in criminal defense. Recognized as one of Orange County's top five criminal defense attorneys, ready to represent you against his former colleagues. Save the embarrassment. The potential conviction, the record, the possible loss of job. Call Mike Fell direct for your legal mulligan, a chance to make it right. 949 278 5559. That's 949 278 5559 for the law office of Michael L. Fell. 949 278 5559. Or you can text the letters OCDUI to 313131. <laughs> Welcome back to Nelson Radio. We're going to blast our way through talking about the issue of trust. And we find that in certain brands, comfort foods, counsel. We're, going to, we're just going to dive deep on, on understanding what trust is, trusting your mortgage lender. And there's one of the biggest dichotomies, I think, that exists. Can you do that, Marco Rufo? You absolutely can do that. There's yeah. a lot of good Which company comes to mind? Your company. Thank Nelson. you so much. <laughs> That's perfect. This is Nelson Radio. I'm with my special guest host, Marco Rufo, recognized as an industry leader for Prudential California Realty out in the Pacific Palisades area. This segment presented by Best Chauffeured, worry-free and on-time transportation services. One of their specialties is the corporate customer, the airport transportation right. and the uh, corporate uh, corporate events. The, the majority of their transportation line are the black vehicles, the corporate vehicles, and then the buses. Wow. They have, I think, eight or ten buses in their fleet, the luxury buses. And so, yeah, they're gorgeous. Yeah. So, uh, best chauffeur, worry free, and on time transportation services worldwide. If you need any transportation, all you need to do is text the word limo to 313131, or you can contact us direct at 888 2136. That's 888 2136. I'm trying to slow down on that number. Some people say I say it too fast. I think how hard can it be? Six eight two one three six. Well, because you say it over and over. Sure. Yeah, triple eight triple eight twenty one thirty six. So let's get to our guest, Doug Cavanaugh. Doug started and is the CEO of the Ruby's Diner chain. Now forty stores, forty restaurants across the U.S. And just an incredible story in terms of starting at a young age and with a vision and a mission, and has now developed this into one of the most iconic restaurants and one that I can tell you I raised my kids at. And I shared this on the on the drive up. My kids were raised at the Rancho Santa Margarita store of Ruby's and then also down in San Clemente, or excuse me, San Juan Capistrano. Great story. My little girl, when she was like four years old, this is a segue, but I got to tell it, she takes a bite out of her Ruby's burger and uh, finds out that she's missing a tooth. Oh. Tooth came out. And so she's looking, did I swallow it? What's going on? And in the bun... Of the burger is here's her little baby tooth that came out, all thanks to Ruby's. So there you have it. You're now the tooth fairy. Welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. 
So let's talk a little bit about your roots and how you got into the industry and, and a couple of things that I noted that you cited your mom and your dad as the as a catalyst. Absolutely. Well, my, my dad was the classic entrepreneur starting many companies here in Los Angeles. And so I kind of got the bug from him and I was working for him, but I knew that his business wasn't my business. I didn't really care for the real estate development business. So luckily uh, <clears throat> they allowed me to pursue a dream and I had my first restaurant of all places on Nantucket Island and uh, long, long story on that one. But it was uh, my girlfriend's mother who was in the restaurant business. We were in a hot tub here in L.A., and somebody found a L.A. Times that said Nantucket Island's only oceanfront restaurant for sale. We flew out the next week, bought the restaurant, and opened it up on 4th of July, 1980. So wow. that's I had no experience in the business. No background none, in the restaurant well, business. None whatsoever. But I, I got before we opened, I, I came back home. I hopped in my 68 Volkswagen van, drove cross-country with my tools and my girlfriend. We met on the at the restaurant. Her mother went and got a chef from Boston, the Modern Gourmet Cooking School. And we opened it up, and and luckily it just clicked, and so that that was the intoxicating thing about the business for me was all the facets of it, and I got my my MBA in, in the restaurant business in that one summer. It was amazing, a master's degree. Yes, tell us about the jog that changed your life. That's a comment that I I saw in your history. <laughs> well, You're... back back in my no back in the old <laughs> days, uh, I lived on Balboa Island, and I would run up and down the peninsula. And I would always notice this little building on the end of the Balboa Pier that was very charming. It was built in 1940, so it had that classic streamlined modern design. So I inquired to the city what was the plan, and they, were, they said they were going to demolish it because it was in just such bad shape. So I said, well, wait a minute. What if you let me fix it up, and I'll, I'll put a little diner out there? And <clears throat> after quite a bit of cajoling, I actually approached them, approached them before I did Nantucket, but they kind of blew me off because I was too young. And, but, right. But I've, after Nantucket, I viewed myself as this worldly restaurant tour of 26. Wildly veteran. Yes, wild veteran. And uh, luckily they said yes. So uh, I brought all my high school buddies in a room and said, hey, who wants to throw in a couple of bucks to make this happen? And at the end of the night, there's only one guy left, my old buddy Ralph. And Ralph and I kicked in and uh, <clears throat> had a total budget. We, you know, we begged, barred, and stole every dime we could. Right. And built it for $80,000 total right down to the silverware. And luckily, it just it was one of those projects that got a lot of attention because people living on the island, the peninsula, could see what was going on out there. And we were there the night before we opened. We were broke. We had just finished it. We had taken all the barricades down. And people walked around the back of the restaurant. They looked in, and they just smiled. Hmm. So we knew we had something that at least they liked the look of. So all we had to do now is do good food. <laughs> so. So we opened the next day to a rousing sixty-three dollars in sales. Perfect. But we, but we were excited. We yeah. were excited. Yeah. So uh, no tax liability. You no, know, no, yeah, we no. were so fine. You're beating we that business fine. challenge. But uh, slowly but surely, it built. And you guys might remember a, a guy in this business, Elmer Dills. Elmer Dills was a critic back in that day, and he right. gave us the best hamburger in Southern California. Is that and right? And he kicked us through the goalposts of. Uh, the restaurant business. And from that point on, we didn't look back. And we fortunately did huge volumes out of that little building. Marco, you and I have seen, you know, plenty of testimony where you see the, in, in our world, the home, the dog with fleas. Absolutely. And then somebody has a vision to do something else with it. And it becomes something that's, oh, that's what I always thought it could be, you know, as the, they jump on the bandwagon. If your heart's set in it, you always succeed is my philosophy. So you're listening to Nelson Radio. Contact us direct, triple eight, triple eight. 2136. Doug, I want to ask you about this branding, this trust in branding and trust in your food. That's got to be one of the cornerstones of your business. It absolutely is. And that's, I have to say, <clears throat> it's probably one of the biggest hallmarks of the brand is that, that we have never sacrificed quality. You know, we would, we would rather raise prices than and in any way cut corners. And I think for people who can discern the difference, we, we, that stands out in our brand from the quality of our meat to the quality of our ice cream to the quality of our bread. I mean, literally, we give tremendous scrutiny over every ingredient. And so you may not notice the individual ingredient, but you will certainly notice the synergy of all that quality together when it comes together in a product. So that, I think, that has been the hallmark of the brand. And people people really appreciate that. The other thing is hospitality. I mean, we really, we don't take ourselves too seriously. It's all about the guest. Yeah. And we find kids who are willing to put on those uniforms and those crazy hats 
And those are kids who don't take themselves too seriously. They're not too cool for school. Yeah. They come in, and it, it's really a birds of a feather philosophy. We get these sweet young kids, and they do a tremendous job. And so it's that combination of mom and apple pie service, great food, and, you know, even somebody who's a little on the rougher edge, they always want to go back to grandma's house once in a while. So we bring them back in. So it's it's really been a, a great attraction. I, I think the name, the name is just uh, fantastic to me. I mean, well, there's a story there. There's yeah. a story. Ruby is my mother, and she she grew wow. up here in Los Angeles after she moved out from Missouri, went to Fremont High School. She is alive and well at 91. Awesome. If, you, if you ask her what her secret to success is, she goes coffee and cigarettes. Oh, good. She's That's quite perfect. a gal. <laughs> quite a gal. And uh, so a lot she, of nutritionist programming. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Good. So uh, she really was the inspiration for the brand. You know, she is classic, greatest generation material. She really is. She, you know, she was there during the you know World War II effort. She was right. there supporting the troops while my dad was uh, in the Pacific. And uh, she and today to this day at ninety one, I will treasure any time I can spend time in a car with her and go for a three hour drive because it's just pearls of wisdom flowing out of this wonderful woman. I can see the smile on your face yeah. when you talk about her. You know, Marco, it's a great storyline in terms of when he wanted to name the restaurant Ruby's, went to his mom and asked permission with a comment that, well, that's what sons do. Fantastic. I, I got to tell you, it's an all-American name, and I think it just fit the bill. Great work. We're excited. If you're out there, you can find the Ruby's Diner stores. They're iconic in their design. The food is great. We want to encourage you to get out and enjoy a step back into yesteryear. This segment with Doug Cavanaugh from Ruby's Diners brought to you by Best Chauffeured, Worry-Free and On-Time Corporate Transportation Services worldwide text the word limo to 313131 if you need transportation you can contact us at any time 888 2136 doug thanks for being with us we'll be right back with brian chu the founder of oc wills and trust attorneys talking about estate planning we'll be right back this is Nelson from Nelson Real Estate Radio, and I want to have a very serious conversation with you. Let me paint the word picture. The drinks were innocent enough, just relaxing with friends. Really, I felt fine. Being drunk wasn't even a consideration. Then the rearview mirror lights up with the blue and red, the arrest, cuffed, and in jail. Really? Me? All too frequent, we wish in the somehow, some way category for a do-over, a mulligan to make a different decision. Let me introduce you to Orange County's office of Michael L. Feld, nearly two decades serving in the Orange County District Attorney's Office as a prosecutor, now fighting for your rights in criminal defense. Recognized as one of Orange County's top five criminal defense attorneys, ready to represent you against his former colleagues. Save the embarrassment the potential conviction, the record, the possible loss of job. Call Mike Fell direct for your legal mulligan, a chance to make it right. 949-278-5559. That's 949-278-5559 for the law office of Michael L. Fell. 949-278-5559. Or you can text the letters OCDUI to 313131. The Nelson Show is brought to you by Best Chauffeured. Best Chauffeured offers personal chauffeur services for corporate events, large and small, and all types of people, not just celebrities. So next time you just want to relax and enjoy the ride, please call on Best Chauffeured Worldwide. It's effortless transportation and first-class service every time. Call 866-323-BEST. That's 866-323-BEST or online at bestchauffeured.com. Mention KTLK's Nelson Show and receive a special discount. 866-323-BEST or online at bestchauffeured.com. Everyone loves a good mystery, but that's hardly the case when you're in a real estate transaction. With Title365.com, the mystery behind title insurance and escrow services has been kicked to the curb. You gain instant access to status and downloadable documents. Want customized real-time order information and documents as they happen 24-7, 365? No problem. And for the first time, Title365 is bringing together leading professionals working on your real estate transaction so the process is even more transparent and efficient thanks to up to the minute communication. You can even retrieve contact information for leading professionals offering real estate and home related services right in your own community and learn more about title insurance all in one convenient place. Be sure to ask your local realtor, lender or escrow officer about 
about Title 365 or visit Title365.com. Mystery solved. Welcome back to Nelson Radio. We're right here in Burbank, the studios of KTLK AM 1150. This segment brought to you by Insurance Incorporated, professional and courteous insurance services. Kind of like the Ruby story, courteous service. That's something that I think we all need to inject back into our business practices. Check out my guest host upcoming show. This is going to be on the 29th of June. Marco Rufo has a luxury estate up in Malibu, staring out, out over the ocean, 270 degree view. Can it get any better? No, it can't. 31240 Beach View Estates in lovely Malibu. It's fantastic. It's been a hub for many celebrities. This one has been rented to many celebrities. Fantastic. Can't wait. It'll be a great show, and you can uh, find out more. You can go to nelsonradio.com, click through to Marco Rufo's site, and see the property that's showcased there, or just reach out to us direct, 888 That's 888 Marco, I'm excited to bring Brian Chu from O.C. Wills and Trust Attorneys into the studio and, and really just look a little bit closer on being proactive. I mean, the estate planning, it's something, at least in my world, I go, I know I need to do it, and it's something I'm about to get to. Brian, is that one of your biggest frustrations? It's, uh, that's everybody that comes to me. It's, uh, they've been delaying and delaying their, procrastinating their, doing their estate plan. They know they have to do it, but they just keep putting it off. You know, it's one of the first questions I ask a lot of my clients if they've done that, and you'd be amazed at some of the most intelligent people that I represent. That don't have. Yeah. The, estate planning. Some of the most financially successful, and they're, Correct. they're totally exposed. Inept when it comes to that area. So, Brian, what do you do with that? I mean, you have uh, obviously some examples, uh, not so much with your practice, but you've heard of other just life situations of something comes up, the spouse dies, and that estate planning hasn't been done. What's the risk? The biggest risk is if you don't have documents in place, the government will make the decisions for you. If you don't have a power attorney, you don't have a trust. You don't have these type of documents. The government's going to decide what happens, what happens to you, your family, and your assets. And then don't forget the squabbling uh, siblings. Well, that too. I mean, like I said, we have any number of cases, and I see it all the time. You know, Families are squabbling about who should get what, what's supposed to happen, and if there's no instructions, it's a free-for-all, and ultimately the courts have to decide. And as soon as you get the courts involved, that means you've got to get other attorneys involved, and that's going to cost your heirs tens of thousands of dollars. It's a lose-lose all exactly. the way around, for sure. Who is from the government? Who is it that actually steps in? It's the probate court. They, when there's not the sufficient documents in place, it's the probate courts that get involved. They decide things. They approve who's going to be in charge. They approve the, the activities of those people that are going to be in charge. And because of that, your family has to hire typically a probate attorney. That attorney is going to charge tens of thousands of dollars for taking care of that probate. And that probate is going to take typically anywhere from 12 to 18 months to resolve itself. And that's in the simplest cases. That's where you know there's no even fighting about who gets what. It's the money's going to go to the kids, but there isn't sufficient documentation to get the money to the kids without having to go to court. What about the care for the kids? Because that's, an, I think, the number one thing that I think most people think about. Let's say mom and dad, they're in a tragic accident. Probate court's not making decisions for those kids. It's the extended family that's coming in, isn't it? Yes. Well, it's, it is ultimately the courts are, God forbid something happens to you. I have kids of three and five-year-old my kids myself and that's probably the single most important thing that you can do in your estate planning is make sure that you get to choose if something happens to you and or your spouse who's going to take care of your kids who's going to be the caregiver uh, because if you don't have that uh, documents that indicate that the court's going to decide on their own they're going to whoever applies uh, is who they're going to decide amongst and that, those people may not be the people you want if you decide ahead of time 99 out of 100 times uh, the family court they're going to say okay we're going to go with the person you want and that's really what estate planning is all about, is you deciding who's going to be in charge of yourself, your family, and your assets if you can't be. In Marco, you know, uh, we all have on the Internet plenty of choices, plenty of options. And one of them, I don't I think I'll uh, brand the name here, but it, let's just say if you went onto the Internet and we're going to do some legal uh, work and you were going to Zoom someplace. <laughs> And something I learned from Brian is that these kinds of platforms are not legal platforms. No, they're not. And I didn't realize that. Brian, is that is that true with the majority of them? They're, in fact, all of them. They advertise right on their on their commercials. They're not a law firm. They're document preparation service at your at your at your direction. 
In other words, you tell them what you want, and they produce a document, which in some cases may be okay, but in, 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 in the situation, for most people, you're not getting any legal advice from them. In fact, they say that. They're not a law firm. They can't give you legal advice. They can't tell you if you're making a mistake, or they can't inform you what the impact of your decisions are. They just uh, you just input what information they ask for on the uh, on the website, and they spit out some documents to you. That's not to say the documents aren't any good. It's just that they have the the client hasn't gotten any legal device. Uh, I'm sorry, legal advice, uh, and making sure that they're doing the right thing because this is probably the single most important documents you're going to create, and you're leaving it up strictly to a computer to spit out some documents to you as opposed to talking to a a real person who can advise you and educate you on the process. I guess I, maybe I'm a, a little more naive, but I was surprised by that. Not they're producing legal documents. I assumed it came from legal counsel uh, as the engine behind it and, and not just legal document providers. No different than if I was going in for an operation, I wouldn't want to be with a medical advisor. I think I'd want to be with a physician. You're absolutely correct on that. But, you know, think of it this way. I mean, I, I do believe those documents are created by attorneys. However, you could be filling out the wrong document, and it's a per case basis, right, Brian? I mean, everyone's situation is is unique, and so I mean, how can a, a standard document suit the uniqueness of a particular situation? They can't. So they, they, that's that's really the problem, right? Exactly. I mean, you want to make sure that the documents fit your situation. Now, your situation may be pretty standard, but they, maybe it's not. Maybe there are things you haven't thought of, and that's the, that's the issue. Is my job as an attorney is to flush those things out, ask you questions. Make sure that you are, um, you know, make sure you know what you're doing, you know what the impact of your decisions are, because again, a website can't convey that. They can educate you a little bit, but really talking to an attorney, we know where the, you know, um, we know where the bad things that can happen if you don't set up your plan correctly. Right. And that's what you want to make sure you're protecting your, you and your family. And especially if you have kids, you know, it's, that's, you know, for most of us, that's our single most important, uh, thing that we want to make sure you take care of. And that's what these documents do. They help make sure that your kids, are taken care of. You know, rule of thumb, you know, the most important decisions of your life and protecting your assets, you don't go online and fill out some paperwork. I mean, you would think, but I guess a lot of people do it. Yeah, not me. And not me. You know. Well, Brian, it's, kind of, it's kind of like, you know, if you're, you know, if you're going to go in for surgery, do you want to go in with the cheapest guy? Do you want to go with the guy that's going to do the good job for you yeah. at the right price? Yeah, there's not a lot of price shopping when, uh, you know, when it comes yeah. to your medical coverage, and it shouldn't be with taking care of your kids if something happened as, as well. Brian, I think it's wise advice. I appreciate you being here. That's Brian Chu, O.C. Wills and Trust Attorneys, uh, right here in Orange County, 888 or you can find Brian's contact information. You've got a seminar coming up both on the 19th and 26th of June at your offices in Irvine, California. You can find out about those seminars as well. That's 888-888-2136. I'm Nelson, and I'm here with my guest host, Marco Rufo. We're moving towards the Coach's Corner, and Rita Langland, the founder of Treasures of Africa, just returning from Africa last night, is going to share some stories with us. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Everyone loves a good mystery, but that's hardly the case when you're in a real estate transaction. With Title365.com, the mystery behind title insurance and escrow services has been kicked to the curb. You gain instant access to status and downloadable documents. Want customized real-time order information and documents as they happen 24-7, 365? No problem. And for the first time, Title365 is bringing together leading professionals working on your real estate transaction so the process is even more transparent and efficient thanks to up to the minute communication. You can even retrieve contact information for leading professionals offering real estate and home related services right in your own community and learn more about title insurance all in one convenient place. Be sure to ask your local realtor, lender or escrow officer about Title 365 or visit title365.com. Mystery solved. This is Nelson from Nelson Real Estate Radio, and I want to have a very serious conversation with you. Let me paint the word picture. The drinks were innocent enough, just relaxing with friends. Really, I felt fine. Being drunk wasn't even a consideration. Then the rearview mirror lights up with the blue and red, the arrest, cuffed, and in jail. Really? Me? 
All too frequent, we wish in the somehow, some way category for a do-over, a mulligan to make a different decision. Let me introduce you to Orange County's office of Michael L. Feld, nearly two decades serving in the Orange County District Attorney's Office as a prosecutor, now fighting for your rights in criminal defense. Recognized as one of Orange County's top five criminal defense attorneys, ready to represent you against his former colleagues. Save the embarrassment the potential conviction, the record, the possible loss of job. Call Mike Fell direct for your legal mulligan, a chance to make it right. 949-278-5559. That's 949-278-5559 for the law office of Michael L. Fell. 949-278-5559. Or you can text the letters OCDUI to 313131. Nelson is a licensed lender under the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 331060. This is Nelson from Nelson Radio, and it's important that we talk about a very serious issue. We had bad lending practices that led to the mortgage meltdown, but now we've got the challenge of deplorable customer service coming out of the meltdown. Bottom line, getting a new loan can be like pulling teeth without Novocaine. I've got the solution. Academy Mortgage and my team are injecting into the industry real performance and real accountability. Here are the facts. Appraisals in less than a week. Rate guarantees that can improve if the market goes down. Purchase transactions with our market-exclusive close-on-time guarantees and refinance transactions in as little as 30 days. Who would have thunk? Guaranteed rates and guaranteed performance from your mortgage lender. Call me, Nelson, an accountable loan expert for nearly three decades, direct at 888-888-2136. That's Nelson at 888-888-2136, 888-2136 or at strongcreditrewards.com. Welcome back. We're at KTLK AM 1150 Studios right here in Burbank. We're talking about trust throughout this show. Nelson Radio benefits from being with my co-host, Marco Rufo from Prudential California Realty and Pacific Palisades. This segment brought to you by one of our bankruptcy experts, the law offices of Kelly S. Johnson. Reach out to us direct. You can call us at 888-888-2136. That's 888 2136 Or just click through to uh, any of our services or our referral partners at nelsonradio.com. Marco, I'm excited that we have really a very important person that's a exceptional person. exceptional person and a visionary. And that's Rita Langland from Treasures of Africa. Little Miss Rita Langland down in Orange County had a vision of and a calling to uh, reach out to the uh, children in Moshi, Tanzania, and provide relief for them. But the, the the greatest thing that she's doing outside of providing these kids a loving environment, a home, uh, clean drinking water, shelter, education, she's developing leaders and leaders she that is. can come back into the community and make a difference. So it's just not the receiver of and, relief. And not only that, they're going to be able to do it on their own. That's the other wonderful thing that she's providing. You know, she's teaching them exactly. So it's fantastic. Rita Langland, welcome to our show. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Nelson. Happy to be with you guys today. Thanks for having me on. I can't believe that you're able to uh, jump right back into the fray. You just stepped off a flight coming back from uh, Tanzania. How many hours was that? Well, it's about a total of about 28 hours of traveling to get back back here to California. It's a long road back. I'm certain you're filled with all sorts of uh, great experiences. And I want to just ask you about that because we were talking about trust in our show. And Marco and I have been looking at that from a variety of different angles. But that's the number one calling card as you bring in these damaged children, these malnourished children, these hurt children. And you have to right out the gate develop trust as you welcome them into your family. What's it like? Yeah, that's a very good question because when a child comes in the door to Treasures of Africa Children's Home, you know, first of all, it's totally shocking, culture shock for them because a lot of them have come out of the villages. Maybe they lived in a mud house, and now they walk into a very clean, lovely home. 
with running water, with a shower, things that are just not even available out in the villages where they live. And so that's just culture shock to start with. But more than that is the issue of these are total strangers. They don't know these people. They're people that were familiar to them. Family members are gone, whether they're the parent died or whatever the scenario is that brought them to us. Most of them, it's because they have become orphaned one way or the other, or they're an abandoned child. Um, yeah, trust is a huge issue, and it takes time to develop trust. That That's the number one thing. Hey, Rita, this is Marco Rufo here, you know, and I Hi, wanted to Marco. ask you, you know, you're educating in a very low or no-tech environment, and it's amazing uh, what you have accomplished. Could you explain that a little bit in, in how to bring them to the 21st century here and what yeah, you're doing? So that, yeah, that's great. Thanks, Marco, for that question. We we are in a, you know in East Africa and specifically in Tanzania, uh, technology is still something that's just kind of being introduced, and many, 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 many people, adults included, have no access to technology, don't know how to use a computer, have can't type. I mean, it, they're some of them aren't even literate, so that obviously causes issues. But we take these children, and by the grace of God and the generosity of many donors, in our children's home, we have a full-on um, computer uh, center that we use for training them. So even our youngest kids who are in preschool age, we have them using the computer, using uh, educational software and we're trying to give them a foundation that is above and beyond what they would get in a normal cl- government school classroom that, that, that doesn't even have technology at all. That is absolutely fantastic. You know, one of the things that I uh, am excited about is as you restore these kids' trust and you get them into a healthy environment, both physically and mentally, I know if go- going through uh, – personal traumas. And as yeah. I've gone through those traumas, I've lost temporarily that ability to dream. You're just focused on getting from day to day as opposed to dreaming about what you want to do with the rest of your life or having a vision. Yes. Uh, how do you establish that ability to dream with these kids again? That is a great question. And it's something that's interesting. When we first got in our children, the very beginning, about six and a half years ago, we asked them the question, what's, what, what, what's your dream for your life? And the answers that we got were so fascinating and now have so changed over the six and a half years. The answers we received back then is, I dream of never being hungry again. Can you imagine that that was the dream? I dream of having a house where I feel safe. Things that were just, are to us, just very basic things. Now, fast forward six years, six and a half years later, we ask our kids the same question again, and they go, I dream of being a doctor. I am going to be a teacher. I have, we have one young lady. I am going to be president of Tanzania. Let's just say the dreams have gone from just survival mode to I have a hope and a future. And that's something, by the grace of God, we've been able to impart to them since they have walked in the doors of Treasures of Africa Children's Home. I can't wait to announce Mrs. President of Tanzania. <laughs> you we're and with, me both, believe yeah. me. We're with Rita Langland, the founder of Treasures of Africa, right here in Coach's Corner, talking about trust. Call us. We want these kids, uh, you to reach out and support these kids. 888-888-2136. That's 888-888-2136. Or you can click through to Treasures of Africa from our website, nelsonradio.com. Hi, Rita. Marco again. Listen, you just returned from Tanzania, and what does Treasures of Africa need to do, start doing, um, more than it's already doing? I think for us, just having um, more exposure, obviously, for our kids, and, and we I can't say we've been the best at, like, marketing ourselves because we've been so focused on just trying to take care of the immediate needs. But we're at a point now where we need to get the word out in a, in a really bigger way because we have purchased land in Tanzania so that we can build what we are calling Treasures of Africa Children's Village. So we can go from our small orphanage that we have now to a village setting, which is going to be, it's a project that has 16 buildings, it's got cottages for the different age groups, has vocational training centers on the campus. It's a full-on campus, 
but it's going to cost us quite a few million dollars to build it. We finally got the final kind of tab of what it's going to be from our contractor. We got we literally just a couple weeks ago got that, and it's going to cost a lot more than I was dreaming of, but. We need to get the word out that we are training leaders for the future of East Africa at this at this center, and we'll be able to reach we'll be able to house and take care of 120 children at the Children's Village if we can get it built. That is absolutely great news. I, I, I love the vision too, and it's you know, Marco, we live in these affluent areas, and there are people that can build out this orphanage to support the 120 plus kids with a single swipe of the check, without it being a big deal. The ask that we, Rita, we've been asking for is that donor to step up. A single donor, $2 million. Yes. And I'm still waiting for the hoots and hollers to come out of Tustin, California, <laughs> if that if that takes place. If you're listening right now, we want you to step forward and support these kids. You can reach us at 888-888-2136. That's Treasures of Africa. Rita Langland, thanks for your vision and your Thank care for these you. kids. I appreciate you being with us. Thanks for the opportunity. Thanks, Nelson. Thanks, Marco. We appreciate both of you guys and your hearts for the kids at Treasures of Africa. God bless you. That's Marco Rufo and Nelson and uh, raising out the call for Treasures of Africa. Triple eight, triple eight, twenty one thirty six. We're coming back with a stump. I'm going to get Marco Uh-oh. stump this time. I'm certain. Treasures of Africa. Triple eight, triple eight, twenty one thirty six. We'll be right back. Everyone loves a good mystery, but that's hardly the case when you're in a real estate transaction. With Title365.com, the mystery behind title insurance and escrow services has been kicked to the curb. You gain instant access to status and downloadable documents. Want customized real-time order information and documents as they happen 24-7, 365? No problem. And for the first time, Title365 is bringing together leading professionals working on your real estate transaction so the process is even more transparent and efficient thanks to up to the minute communication. You can even retrieve contact information for leading professionals offering real estate and home related services right in your own community and learn more about title insurance all in one convenient place. Be sure to ask your local realtor, lender or escrow officer about Title 365 or visit title365.com. Mystery solved. Insurance Incorporated are the residential and apartment insurance experts. Unlike agencies that represent one carrier and can only provide one quote, Insurance Incorporated has appointments with the nation's leading insurance carriers giving you the power of choice. This means more options and savings for you, offering coverage that's both comprehensive and affordable. Their policies for apartments include protection against loss or rents, accusation of wrongful eviction and wrongful entry, vandalism, theft, and slip and fall claims. Show your value as a property manager by being proactive safety your clients' money and protecting their assets. They can even assist your tenants with renter's insurance. And homeowners, they can save you up to 40% on premiums, including often overlooked liability coverage. Insurance Incorporated are the residential and apartment insurance experts. Call. This is Nelson from Nelson Real Estate Radio, and I want to have a very serious conversation with you. Let me paint the word picture. The drinks were innocent enough, just relaxing with friends. Really, I felt fine. Being drunk wasn't even a consideration. Then the rear view mirror lights up with the blue and red. The arrest, cuffed, and in jail. Really? Me? All too frequent, we wish in the somehow, someway category for a do-over. A mulligan to make a different decision. Let me introduce you to Orange County's office of Michael L. Feld. Nearly two decades serving in the Orange County District Attorney's Office as a prosecutor, now fighting for your rights in criminal defense. Recognized as one of Orange County's top five criminal defense attorneys, ready to represent you against his former colleagues. Save the embarrassment, the potential conviction, the record, the possible loss of job. Call Mike Fell direct for your legal mulligan, a chance to make it right. 949-278-5559. That's 949-278-5559 for the law office of Michael L. Fell. 949-278-5559, or you can text the letters OCDUI to 313131. You're back with Nelson Radio. I'm with my guest host, Marco Rufo. 
and we're at the stump. Stump the experts brought to you by my company, Marco Academy Mortgage, and I'm going to continue to raise the flag of reinjecting accountability back into the lending practice. It's coming and it is available where lenders are actually doing what they say they're going to do. I mean, it sounds crazy even when I say it, huh? Yeah, you're doing the right thing, Nelson, and uh, I, I commend you on your work. And I want to develop trust back in the mortgage sector, and it's uh, Academy is leading that charge. This segment is brought to you by... Academy Mortgage, you can reach us at any time. We're a purchase transaction specialist at 888-888-2136. That's 888-888-2136. And I want to move into the stump. We've got some questions here I found very fascinating from uh, the listeners. The first one I wanted to open up with is uh, one that we talked about actually last week. And I wanted to get your opinion. And that is, are the rich feeling the pinch in this economic environment and Will they continue to pay all cash for homes? Well, I mean, let's let's talk about that for a second, and let's talk about the rich. You're talking about the rich, and the interest rates, yeah, have bumped up a tad. Does that really bother them? Yeah, in certain areas, in, in certain portfolios, sure. Has it become a, a topic of conversation in, in the last few weeks? Yes, it has. Has it stopped anybody? No, not at all. Uh, in actuality, they're putting down same amounts that they were putting down before, and the majority of them, uh, you know, more than 50, 60 percent down in cash. Well, let, let me just ask a question. We're driving around Southern California, just like everyone that's listening to us right now, and you got to ask the question: When does they? When can they? Or when do they have to just stop writing a check? Does the money run out? I mean, when, it seems like there's untold amounts of money that people are just buying real estate with. It's when their other ancillary investments start to go uh, south is when they really start feeling the pinch. And those are like the stocks and bonds and and IRAs, things of that nature. If those things start feeling, uh, become more aggressive, then yes, then uh, you'll start seeing less and less cash buyers. But as of right now, it's business as usual business. and cash buyers are still leading the charge. Well, not necessarily even just business as usual. It's just business is just unbelievable in, yeah. uh, in for cash buyers. The new normal. Interesting. All right, let me ask you a question. This is going into the uh, renters segment, but a tenant called and said, can I, as a tenant, collect from a sub lessee, someone that I've rented a room out, even though my lease doesn't allow me to sublet the room out? Uh, it is absolutely prohibited. And uh, it uh, the problem that tenants have is that if unless the landlord gives you the authority and in the lease for allowing the subleasing, then you cannot. It is against all the rules. So if I do that, if I break the covenants of that of that lease, I choose to rent out a room to somebody, they default on their rent payments, I have no capacity to collect on those? Not only do you have no capacity, you could be in violation of your lease, which you are, and what could happen is you could be evicted. Interesting. So it's a double fold. Yeah. I don't get my money and I get the boot. Absolutely. Yeah, or nice. at least an eviction notice. Sounds like my dating <laughs> life. Huh, interesting. All right. So let me hit you with this question out of the condominium sector. And this is, can a HOA board place association funds in, in a risky investment? That is the absolute big hot button right now. Because what's happening is since we have such low returns on our monies in conventional FDIC um, institutions, what's happening is a lot of these HOAs are thinking of ways of growing that money. Problem is, is you're, you know, the, the people that are on HOAs are not the most sophisticated, and they make a lot of mistakes. You're going to make some friends. Go ahead. They're going to make some mistakes. <laughs> you know, they're going to make a lot of mistakes. So you've got to be really careful. However, the legalities of it are if the CCNRs for the HOA allow you to do or invest such monies, then it's okay. But normally the HOAs have to. Uh, so let's them. say you have a hundred unit condominium building. Uh, the, the tenants or the owners of those condominiums are dutifully paying their association fees. Correct. Those fees get invested. The investments lost. What happens? You're out. That's it. I mean, the the, the covenant under the CCNRs would uh, everyone that has invested that money, their money is gone. And just like any investment, just so they'd like have, any, invest they'd have to ante up all over again. They would absolutely. Interesting. Well, that's, you know, I thought for sure with those kinds of questions, we'd stump you, but we didn't. We didn't. <laughs> we thought, I thought I'd at least get a little hitch in your get along. And no, you've got the answers. I appreciate it, Marco Rufo. That stumped the experts. This segment brought to you by Academy Mortgage. 
Offering its exclusive close-on-time guarantees, call us direct, 888-888-2136. That's 888 888-888-2136. We have available for our listeners as well on our web platform, nelsonradio.com, Marco's segment on talking about the eight mistakes that buyers make when purchasing a home, and it's an absolute must-listen as you as a home buyer out there trying to fight and compete with those all-cash buyers and just get your offer accepted. So the eight mistakes buyers make when purchasing a home, we can send that to you digitally, or you can listen to that segment on our website, nelsonradio.com. Great show, Marco. Thanks for being here. Appreciate our good friend Phil Gian our producer. Thanks for being with us. We'll be back with you next week. 888-888-2136 or at nelsonradio.com. Thanks for listening. Nelson is a licensed lender under the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 331060. This is Nelson from Nelson Radio, and it's important that we talk about a very serious issue. We had bad lending practices that led to the mortgage meltdown, but now we've got the challenge of deplorable customer service coming out of the meltdown. Bottom line, getting a new loan can be like pulling teeth without Novocaine. I've got the solution. Academy Mortgage and my team are injecting into the industry real performance and real accountability. Here are the facts. Appraisals in less than a week. Rate guarantees that can improve if the market goes down. Purchase transactions with our market-exclusive close-on-time guarantees and refinance transactions in as little as 30 days. Who would have thunk? Guaranteed rates and guaranteed performance from your mortgage lender. Call me, Nelson, an accountable loan expert for nearly three decades, direct at 888-888-2136. That's Nelson at 888-888-2136, 888-888-2136 or at strongcreditrewards.com.